All right, this is gonna be a fairly quick video. Well, at least fairly quick for you guys. I kinda need to get the laundry room hooked back up upstairs, which would also then hook up the refrigerator back to the solar. Uh, I have a real problem right now where I have the one inverter running, uh, both batteries are hooked up to it, and the batteries are not even getting below 90% at night because they're very running minimal loads. Um, and then the sun comes out the next day and it's 100% within an hour or so. So I need to add a, a few more loads to help uh, utilize that solar because I hate wasting it. So my plan is to rerun the electrical line to the panel for the laundry room. And I might also uh, try and fix these solar lines down here um, and actually get the breakers on the mount. I was able to pick up the proper line today when I went to the store. So I might get that done too and just have a, a couple of quick hitters taken care of. So this yellow line up here is too short. And you see it runs over here and into that blue box. Um, it's too short compared to where the panel has been moved to because it originally it was, I don't know, somewhere right around in here. Um, and I didn't give myself any extra length. I just cut it to where it needed to go. So I'll have to go through and pull all that line out. And rerun it from that single gang box. Count down. There's the click. Now we're outputting 120 volts. Come over here. Turn on our main. Turn on our set of outlets and the laundry room. Now let's go see if the laundry room is powered up. Yeah, we got power on the outlets there. Power there. And now, This is what's running the fridge right now. And that goes out here and along the floor to the fridge.
Alright, so I got a spool of 50 foot of THHN 10 gauge. Just hoping to find something shorter than 50 feet. But I'll have leftovers for next time. So for the time being, with everything running, I'll just measure the lines coming up, running over, and then give myself a little extra. I'll probably measure it up here. And then I can put my ferrule connectors on the ends down here. I can tape a, a positive side and get it twisted so that they'll go right up there and then I can shut everything down. Um, move the breakers, disconnect the lines, and then add the new solar lines. Let's see how far 50 foot takes us. And just to make things easier, I'll just cut four of the same length, knowing that they'll be trimmed. Alright, so I got my ferrules for my 10 gauge wire and my 10 gauge ends. Since it was too long, just take my cutters, trim the ends off. There, let's drop that way. strings going. This is reminding me of what I did when we pulled the lines through the conduit because I would every few feet mark which line was my positive line so much cheaper to buy the one color than to try and buy multiples. 
at least from where I was getting it from. I'll grab one black and one red. Just try and line them around each other. easier to handle when they're all twisted together. Yeah, and then when I figure out my actual length, I'll mark the very end with the red again. But at least this way I can see which one's which. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do. So I know which one's which. I tape the green, green line for ground, for my ground array, and blue for my roof array. Really helps me know which one I'm messing with. Then I have the breakers set. It's the same way they're going to go into the inverter. PV2 is on the left, PV1 is on the right. So down here, PV2 on the left is going to be the roof array, PV1 is going to be the ground array. If you can see this, but on the it says PV one positive on the left, negative on the right, and then same with PV two. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but if you look here, this is why I put the tape near the connector because if I don't, it's all black. We're not getting any power from PV because it is blurry. Almost 8 o'clock. All right, got the PV lines moved. Got the laundry room circuit hooked up so we can utilize some more power. I think that's where I'm going to call it quits for tonight. You all have a good night and uh, Thanks for watching.